Hello, 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 good evening. Um, how's everybody doing, man? I'm doing fantastic. You already know. Um, there's three things certain in life. That's death, taxes, and that Bagman Jones is going to be behind on his laundry. We find ourselves back in a similar situation. We're not worried. We're not going to panic. We've done this before. Um is what it is we're gonna go to goodwill tomorrow restock up um just feeling feeling real good today man what a saturday what a friday what a life um listen here's a quote i just read right before i got on this world tried to bury me the world tried to bury me not knowing i was a seed Hey, man, so y'all sitting there getting dirt thrown on y'all's name. Can't see the light of the day right now. It's cold. You're suffocating. You, you know what I mean? You're getting claustrophobic. Guess what, man? You dig deep for those roots, man. Get that nutrients, dude. And just wait. You're going to start feeling a little bit of that warmth, a little bit of that sunlight. Maybe your friend or something come inspires you. That's a little water on you. Next thing you know, you start growing a little bit. You start breathing. You start stretching out, man. You start getting some strength in your limbs, dude. And then you're breaking ground, man. Ground breaking. And once you break that ground, it's over. It is over, dude. What, man, I was looking at, and you guys know me. Sitting there staring at the trees and the grass today. What is grass, dude? It's like a grass is like one single blade, right? And I'm watching this like grass go on for miles and miles long. How many blades of grass is that? Dude, like, I'm starting to think like, is grass like one big long animal? Like a big long snake or like a whale? Obviously they're functioning and working in together. I don't. I was freaked out. Same with trees, man. They're just that stop, that tall, skinny, long trunk. And then I guess the branches. But then the leaves, like, really fill it out. How many leaves are on a tree? You know, to give it that volume and that, and that um, I don't know, that appearance. It's kind of like looking at, you know, like when you look at an owl when it doesn't have any of its feathers and it's shaved down, dude. And it looks like, what the fuck is that? Sorry for cussing. God dang it, dude. We're trying to switch that up a little bit. Uh, at least get a little better. At least make them count, you know? If you're going to cuss, like, I might do a challenge maybe coming up where if y'all call me out for cussing more than three to five times or something, I'll owe you something. I don't know. I'll work on that. Let's definitely keep that in the works under wraps. Um, TBD. TBC to be decided to be continued listen this is what i was thinking first off bagman's a lot of things he's a lot a lot of things a lot of things but you know what he's not most of the time sometimes a liar and i said your wish is my command i was told um i was asked to give a shout out to one of my nearest and my dearest followers and supporters straight up there from day one bless her heart um and here it is for her drum roll call her on down bring her on down anna lynn you have won today one heartfelt shout out from bagman jr wait i don't have i ever called myself bagman jr interesting it's not about me it's about anna lynn guys she is an angel just a just a ray of light, a radiating beam, and she's always there. She's always commenting. She's always watching. Subscribe, you know, telling people, having funny thoughts, ideas. Um, just there for the chit chat, the chatter. Um, it's crazy how the internet can bring people together. Anna Lynn, listen, how do I give you more love? All right, let me. I'm going to go all in right here. Put all my cards on the table. Maybe I go ahead and just name my firstborn after you. All right? Are you happy? 
guys, if you want a shout out, you better get to it quick. I don't know how many kids there's going to be. So, um, Anna Lynn right there, dude, top of the ranks, um, you know, besides friends and family, but you know what? She's slowly creeping her way into friends and family and Anna Lynn, one more time, let me pile on. Let me just really shout you out, girl. Um, stop by your page, watch you do another just amazing cover, um, commented, liked it. Um, is that your voice? You're killing it. You're killing it. God dang, dude. Let's go. Um, your page is very diverse. I liked it. You, you're doing shorts here. You're doing DIY here. You're doing, um, you're doing singing over here. You're doing ukulele stuff over here. I mean, then you're talking about your son over here. It was, I was impressed. I was blown away. I was, um, Took a, take a step back, taking a gas. I don't know. There's a lot of phrases. They get confusing. They all kind of intertwine. Um, so really awesome for that, which leads me to my next point, guys. Here's the deal. And actually, well, maybe I'll do my quote first because the quote goes so much with it. Here we go. Life is not a process of discovery but a process of creation. Basically, we go through life creating ourself. It's not, it's not really discovering ourself, I've learned. We are who we are, but, but we become what we want to become and what we think about it. We create ourselves. I'm like building myself. I'm like, I'm like that, that Tony Stark. I'm that Robert Downey, dude. Building my own uh, super suit. You know what I mean? Um, and, and it's funny that I found that quote because right before that I had written down on my other page, we are creators. We are creators, dude. And, you know, I never really thought thought like that. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, we all, you know, we can create or that's a hobby or we do it for fun, but that's not for everybody. But no, like you envision what you want and then and then you make it happen basically like. You're just creating your life. Don't let life happen to you and life come to you. Like, go out there and, and make that your thing. You know what I mean? Um, like, you know, they say, like, you know, any, any thought that we've had, any invention, I mean, any invention has started as a thought. And everyone says, dude, you're crazy. That'll never happen. And then guess what? It happens. Because you get creative if you can think it, it can pretty much happen. So we're creators, us together as as a species are co-creating our reality. Um, we just need to always think about that. Don't don't be passive. Don't lay back. Don't you know? Don't take the power away from yourself. Like find what you can create and do it. And get it out there, put it out there. I don't care if you're if you if you want to open the best bakery ever, and how you're making those desserts and how you're designing them. That's what I'm saying. You can create any type of way. Maybe you're a, a figure skater, and you're working on a new routine. Just get creative, man. That's the thing. Like it, it's fun. It's exciting. Think outside the box. What have people not done? How could you start putting your skills together, like linking them up? Steve Jobs, I think he defined like genius and creativity as like connecting to things that don't look like they connect. How do you think he got the iPhone that did so many different things on one device? And everyone was like, holy shit, you can't have a computer and a calculator and a camera. Wait, what? You know what I mean? Like that was unheard of. And, you know. And it tells time, you know, like how many things did he get rid of? Like now we don't need our our stopwatch and our and our timer and our you know, and our alarm clock. Boom, 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 boop, boop, boop. See ya. You know, put things together. Um, okay, yeah, the world tried to bury me, not knowing I was a seed. That was funny. Um, Anna Lynn got her shout out. Boom, 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 boom. Here's something funny I heard yesterday. <laughs> Dude, I'm just walking by and I just love catching bits and pieces of conversations because I because then it's my job, me being creative or me just it's fun for me. I love people watching, then I love just 
finishing the story. It's like they gave me, it's like a writing prompt. They gave me the first sentence and I get to fill it in or I get to give them background or act, you know, feel like I know them or what the characters or what they're going through. Maybe that's something about kind of being an empath too, which I heard a song and, you know, this guy comes on the radio and he's like, you know, let's, let's be, let's be more empathetic. Let's, you know, feel for each other. And then he plays this song goes, I know you, I live you. Um, I know you like I know my name. Um, which I think makes a lot of sense. I think, I think in reality, we all pretty much do have so much in common and we're all almost experiencing the same things that you know your neighbor so well. Like when they're going through something, you almost, it, it's like a weird feeling. You can't really describe it, but you can feel it with them. Um, so I, I heard this person go, um, he's talking on the phone and he goes, uh, Okay, yeah, send me an email. I'll put Harrison on it. I think he's managing right now. <laughs> it's just so funny to me, dude, because I'm picking up to I'm picking up deliveries all day. I'm in sweatpants with like a backwards hat and pink sunglasses. You know what I mean? Hopping and skipping and chasing butterflies and and picking up rocks. And, you know, that's that's my thing. I'm having fun, right? And then these guys are, you know, dressed up in suits with their ties and their and their blazers and their dress suit shoes. And, you know, they're acting like they're sending important emails or important business calls. But that's their reality. That's what they wanted to choose. I'm not making fun of it. They like getting dressed up and playing business. Hey, we're we're making moves. You know, we're we're entrepreneurs. You know what I mean? Like, hey, hey, we got it. You know, we got deadlines. <laughs> We got a deadline to make, dude. Oh, we're in a we're in a crunch, man. Oh, the numbers of this quarter are down, you know. And if that's what's fun for y'all, that's what gives y'all drive and passion. And do that, man. It, it was just never my lane or my calling, but I was like, man, I finally get it. Like that's what they like. Like they're they're like kids. We're all we're all like basically like big kids, you know what I mean? Still. So they're like big grown up kids and that's like what they want to do for fun. That's like their new game. Instead of hide and seek, they're like, let's play business. Hey, hey, let's get let's get John and Robbie over here, dude, and we're gonna play some business later. And everyone's like, Oh dude, yeah, do some business. Dude, can I be VP? Yeah, you can be VP as long as I'm treasurer. You know what I mean? Dude, it's just fucking Oh man, it is like literally funny, man. Um But good for them, man. I was happy. It made me laugh. Win-win for everybody, man. And they probably looking at me like, that guy likes playing um, borderline hippie, hippie guy. Hippie um, man, you know, out there. Um, and I'd be like, hell yeah. Um, man, I saw this really this really cute moment, right, where I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to walk in somewhere. And then um, I just look up and I see this guy and he's just like, you know, he, he's not a great looking guy, but he's just smiling. And, uh, you know, when you see a borderline ugly guy smiling, you're saying, whoa, something's going right. You don't really see them out here like this, man. Good for this guy. And you know what I found out it was? It's because his girl had just like pulled up across the lot and she was like walking in and he was doing the classic. Let me wait outside for you. You know, let me be a gentleman. Um you know, maybe get the door, you know, so we can eat together. Just that, that type of move right there. He got there early. So she's not waiting. I mean, this guy was just checking the boxes. I was probably about to date him, you know, just green flag, green flag, green flag, loving what I'm seeing. Um, also, yeah, he, he's pulling out of his league. This girl was way better looking than him. And as me as, you know, I'm always low key on the team guy side. And I love watching a, a guy kind of, kind of reach you know what I mean? And get that, that girl out of his league, dude. A young stunner, really. Um, and so, yeah. And you know what? The best thing was she came in also with that same smile and that energy right back to him. You know what I mean? It wasn't like she was like, he was like, oh, hey, babe, how you doing? Hey, Rachel. You know, I don't know what her name was. And, you know, and then she she's coming in and she's like, here's my coat and shrugging and looking at her phone. No, nah, dude, she was matched up with him. They looked like a, they looked like a, they looked like the real deal. Um, if they're not married, I will bet right now that those two make it. Those crazy kids. 
<laughs> those crazy kids are gonna make it man and um and then I went in there later and they're still in there because I was like looking for them because I like I like took an order and then I came right back to the same place and um or maybe maybe I went to the bathroom I don't know but I saw them and then like you know they're getting the order or they're walking over and then this guy's like he's talking up the coat the uh the guy's working there the guy doing the ice filling up the ice machine and I'm like this guy's just like a nice genuine happy good dude man and those people just deserve good things and I think I think he's getting some of that stuff he deserves man so really happy for him guys be happy for people don't be that person like fucking couple dude why am I alone god dude I was this guy with this girl man and I got nobody I'm cooler and better than that guy dude what dude what man no, dude, I'm out of here, man. Literally, dude, what? I'm texting all my exes on a group chat, dude. Group DM my exes, dude, like all my DMX shit, dude. What? Um, so, I don't even know where that came from, but yeah, really happy for that guy. Um, I watched um, a really popular Twitch streamer that I had just like seen his name pop up, but I'd watch him, Kai Cnat. I don't even, KC. K A I C E N A T K C, um, and dude, that's the thing. Like these successful people, you can almost tell within a couple minutes of watching them or meeting them or hearing them speak. Oh, I see why they're successful. Oh, I see why they're rich. Oh, I see why people like them. Oh, I see why they got a big following, because they just have the energy, they have the attitude. They have the work ethic. They have the drive. They're smart. Like they're they're just people, people, uh, persons, people, pumpkin pickle people eaters, purple, purple people eaters, and um, they, yeah, they just got that charisma, that energy. I mean, he was just smiling, being loud, being confident, boisterous, like just um, having a good time, making sure other people are comfortable, making sure his his live chat is involved, and um you know, and that's the thing too, like, those type of people will just be successful at anything, he, he, he's not even doing that much on his channel, you know what I mean, like, nothing was going on, he was just, like, talking to other people, you know, but if you're that right, if you're made of that right stuff, and people just want to be around you, and get that vibe from you, and, and feed off that energy, dude, they, they'll come, man, they really will come, they, they just, they just want to be around, and they just, they, it's just contagious, man, so, Start studying people that, you know, are really successful and see what they do. See how they take control of a room. See how they just are, are calm but confident and just um, just enjoying themselves. You know, they're not uncomfortable. Um, things like that. Listen, two big moments here. Yesterday, I wasn't doing that great, and usually I'm doing amazing. And it wasn't like I was doing bad. It was just like my mind kind of went on autopilot, and I was kind of on sleep mode. Just kind of kind of distracted, kind of not really in the moment, in the present. And I got two phone calls, one from Otis, one from my brother. Both really helpful, both really inspiring. Um, it's amazing because, like, when you start helping people, then guess what? They'll help you when you don't expect it and maybe when you need it most. Um, and so my, when my brother, you know, we're always hitting each other with quotes or he, he gave me a really good death, uh, Dead Poet Society quote about living your life with passion and kind of what your legacy is going to be. Um, shoot, what is this other thing? can't read the other thing and then he I mean he told me an Einstein quote about just showing more love um we we just want to show more love to people man like I know it's hard to kind of to kind of show it sometimes you're embarrassed or it feels weird but it's something that's worth it and we need to get better at being able to to I guess speak that language and not feel weird or uncomfortable doing it or like it's not like a manly thing to do um and then being a real friend like 
a big theme I think of this episode is just like friends, like friends helping friends, encouraging, um, being there, um, just being positive when the other person gets down. Like I hit up some old friends um, today, and I was just also amazed by like even though I had been ghost and been a bad friend and kind of disappeared, like when they take you right back with like open arms and they're like, hey. Hey, we're glad to hear from you. Hey, you know what? I missed you, and, and hey, it's good to talk to you. Like, yeah, let's hang out, you know? Like, just like nothing was wrong, you know what I mean? Just accepting and forgiving and kind of, um, I don't know. It means a lot. You're like, man, really? Dang, like, I wouldn't even be mad if you hated me right now, you know? Um, so that's the thing about being a real friend. Like, be a true friend. Um, you obviously want true friends, but you gotta be that true friend too. You know, don't get offended. People, people go through things. Um, one of my quotes says, you know, help carry each other's burdens. It's easy to be friends with people when everybody's doing good, but hey, when they, when they hit a bump or they hit a block, you know, are you are you gonna sit there and kind of distance yourself? Like, good on, let's get out of here, man. It's getting kind of, it's getting kind of sketch getting gonna you know are you gonna distance yourself are you just gonna observe them are you gonna watch are you gonna gossip or are you gonna say hey hey listen i know you're going through some things you don't really seem like yourself right now hey what what could we do to help hey what way we're, we're, we're concerned about you hey you, you're just not you're just not sounding the same right now like what, what what's been going on you need to talk about something you need somebody here for it you know what i mean like Find a way to help them through their tough times because you're going to remember who helped you in your tough times. And it's not like you're not due for some more tough times too yourself. So better to have more people in your corner. Um, just that type of thing, man. When I talked to Otis, it was, it was kind of about how to, how to turn some negative things more positive. Um, and just... Just writing that children's book, it's like, man, the more and more I think about it, it's like, I, you know, I want to be more like a child again and just be wholesome and pure and innocent and curious and having fun and energy and just creative. Like, what's wrong with those things, dude? I think we kind of messed up. When did we start taking life so serious, dude? When it was just fun, when you're just making games up and everybody's your friend. You know what I mean? And every every day, it's like just the next magical adventure right now. What was that? What was that book? The Magic Treehouse or something? Holy crap, that just hit me. I got to look that up. Holy crap. Um, also, a big thing is, um, dude, love the people you don't want to love. It's easy to love the, the nice, popular dude or girl. The one that everybody liked. The funny, nice one. But, hey, how are you, how are you going to go love that, that guy that's kind of mean, standoffish, kind of a jerk? Or how are you going to love that one that's, you know, kind of an asshole and a, and a thief? And I'm not, saying, I'm not saying make them your best friend. And I'm not saying let their energy, you know, bring you down. But if you can't just still show them, hey, we still love you, say something nice for them, just do something nice for them, then kind of let them be and let them think about it. Like, man, why are they still being nice to me? Is there maybe something more to more to these people than I think? Or, um, you know, wow, I tried to push them away and, and, and they're not giving up on me. Why are they not giving up? Maybe I shouldn't give up on myself. You know what I mean? Like, give people that hope. Um, show people that love who knows what they're going through man could have been a rough job but like yeah dude like um, yeah find find the people that are tough to love once you can love them then you can love anybody like you know we always just get to pick and choose oh we're just gonna love the people that are nice to us like just do something nice for them and then, and then just kind of just kind of keep going on, keep going on, you know, treat them no different than everybody else. And just see after a while, you know, hey, maybe that'll lighten them up. 
you know, it really will, like, because, because I know, like, people can change, man, I, I've seen people completely turn around, um, personalities, you know, I've talked to some girls that were, like, um, not even the girl I just dated, but a couple other girls, like, uh, that were, like, um, heavy drug addicts, and then they, and then they just change, and they flip up, and they, and they're a totally different person. Some people just need more time, more, more reflection, more, more, um, you know, trial and error. We're all on different clocks, man. I needed a lot of time, a lot of time, dude. I didn't think I was ever going to get there. Um, what else happened today? Oh man, I heard an album come on the radio and they read it and they're like, that album was called Be Positive. <laughs> and I was like, yo man, that's the new story of my life pretty much. Um, that's been, you know, I just, I just, I just hear these positive messages. Like when I need them, they just, they just hit me. They little jabs, just little jab, little jab, little body shot, body shot. Um, you know, I was dancing in my car today and I finally got someone to dance with me. I was just dancing. I could tell he was looking at me and I finally looked at him and I was like, yeah, dude, like let's, let's raise that down, dude. Like, and then he was bobbing and then his girl was man. And, and that was fun. Um, just a quick little moment i held the door for this lady on the way into food and i told her hey you got a nice car and she's like oh thank you and thank you again double thank you you know what i mean and then we left at the same time too and i got and i said oh here you are again and like um that second time she was smiling even bigger man oh i couldn't imagine if i held the door for her that third time man sheesh dude sheesh I would have had to probably take her to a um, a modeling agency or something, man. She was she was brightened up, dude. Turn out the lights I'm looking for. Um, carry each other's burdens. Went over that. Here's a quote that I thought was. I got it, kind of, kind of got it, or kind of clicked with it a little bit. I just kind of, just kind of felt it, and I just kind of thought. I'll write it down, dude. I mean, shit. Who cares? Um, this one goes, Things rarely change by a simple change of scenery. Think about that one, guys. Let's take a moment to just take a moment right now. Maybe get a little... A little one of these. Can I get another one? Yeah, double this time. Um... Things rarely change by a simple change of scenery. It's just like, um, yeah, you're always like, man, yeah, you know what? I'd be fine if I could just move to California. Or I'd be fine if, you know, you know, I just changed my, changed my job. Kind, I mean, if you're just like, if I can just change one thing, but deep down, I mean, it's deep down. You still got those same traits, those same characteristics, those same problems. You're going to still keep running into those same obstacles. You're going to st still keep having those same trains of thought. Um, you know what I mean? Those same negative behaviors sometimes, you know, whether it's a, maybe it's a bad diet or maybe it's lack of sleep or um, maybe it's your anger outburst. You know what I mean? Like you got to you got to look within and, and fix that within internally first before thinking just a chain of scenery is going to help anything um because yeah dude like i you know i went from let's see all the places that i lived um duluth to norcross to bucket back home back to Butte, and like i was the same person at all those places you know doing random hookups um Drinking and smoking too much, not giving a fuck about anything else, but my jobs. Um, just an overall pretty selfish, um, greedy, hedonist, probably. Um, hedonist is just like what? Like self indulging yourself, right? Like just looking for pleasure seeking, I think. Um, you know, just things didn't really change until I just said I need to change myself there are some things that I desperately need to change you know what I mean me me, me getting away is not gonna change anything 
You always think it might. It's just like the same thing where, like, the people that win the lottery, right, go broke again. You know what I mean? Because if you're already bad with money and you don't know how to save money and you don't know how to keep money or do your taxes or, or you know, stay out of debt and things like that, like, yeah, oh, you get a bunch of money, but you never learned the art of having money and saving money and controlling money and making money last and stretching money and making money work for you. If you, if you never learned any of those skills, most likely the same pattern is just going to keep repeating itself. You know what I mean? Got to make sense. Um, let me hit you guys. Okay. How much time am I at? Okay. I still got a little bit of time. Um, we got, we still got the bars coming up. I got a little good news for you. And then these were a couple stories that I wasn't sure I was going to get to, but I'll tell two of them real short, real short. Um, it's about like I Googled today, like how famous songs were written. And, and read a bunch, you know, some I knew, some I hadn't. I, want, I wanted to keep reading. I actually didn't even get to look that long. Um, Don't Stop Believing. Famous song. And basically, I guess the band Journey, I, I don't know, I think it said it was their drummer or something. They, like, moved out to California. And I think they weren't having success or whatever. And, um, you know, he calls his dad and just says... Um, Hey, I, you know, I don't know if this is it. I don't know what we're doing out here. Like, you know, like, you know, should we come back? Maybe we should come back home. I don't, I don't know if this is it for, uh, you know, what are we doing? This this is crazy. And, yeah, his dad just said, hey, listen, no, you're out there. You got to keep going. Like, you got this. Don't stop believing. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes, dude, you need that encouragement for other people. You just need to hear somebody else say it, and you say, "Okay, yep, let's call it, let's let's kick it in the drive." You know what I mean? That's that's all I needed to hear. I needed someone to believe in me. You know, like when somebody tells me my videos are good or they watch or they enjoy it, I'm like, "Oh, okay, okay." You know what I mean? Let's go then. Let's pack our bags, baby. We going on a drive. Let's get the keys. We going on a drive, dude. It's like I'm Tom Brady marching the troops down the field. You know what I mean? As time's expiring, baby. That's what it feels like. Um, so yeah, don't stop believing. The fact that it came yeah from from like his dad or his parents or um, it's really cool too. And just getting that right that right bit of info and that motivation, and then to turn it into such a great song. Um, sometimes the simple things. Then this song, I'm not gonna tell you what it is at first. This song I read was written in about 20 minutes, and it is such a good song. You know, I know a lot of the words to it. Um, I think we've probably all sung it. We've probably all heard it. Um, it was inspired by, you know, his girlfriend. He hears the, he hears one of his bandmates riffing uh, on the guitar a little bit and just starts writing. And it just came out. And it goes, uh, She's got eyes that it seems to me remind me of childhood memories where everything was as fresh as the bright blue sky. Now and then when I see her face, it takes me away to that special place. And if I stay out too long, I'll probably break down and cry. Dude, Sweet Child of Mine was written in like 20 minutes, dude. Um, Talking about her hair reminds me of a place I used to hide warm and safe place I used to hide as a child. I mean, dude. What a song. What a writing session. Um, I don't know. That just that just freaking blew me away, dude. Like, you just never know. You never know what you were working on. Could be that one. Could be that spark. You know, I heard a couple, you know, like... Same with making videos, same with writing TV shows, same for writing a book or um, giving a speech. You just don't know when it could be that one and something could click and something could just freaking catch fire and blow up, man. That's why you just keep doing it. 
You just wake up every day. Or sometimes it could be after you're even dead. But just know that still that thing that you put out is still there. And you still created it. And you're inspiring people. Um, and it lasts forever. I thought that was amazing. All right, a couple good stories in the news. Okay, this is a good one. Another one to show just how, how powerful family is. And this one's a sibling, brother and sister. Um, she was living out in, I think, New York or Boston. And she had a autistic little brother. I think he's 33. She's 36. And uh, she moved back home to take care of him. Um, and, you know, she's got she's got a husband and... So they're watching him like he's he's pretty self-sufficient. And then they said, OK, well, we're going to build him a little tiny home in our backyard. And she's she spent like 15,000 um, to just give him his own space. Um, and they said it was amazing how much like more independent he got. And isn't that so cool? Like just siblings looking out for each other. She moved back, um, built that for him, you know. Um, trying to look after him, trying to make sure he's happy and peaceful. She didn't have to do that. And it said, like, they they are they were both adopted, so they're not even blood siblings, but when you're sibling, you're sibling. You know what I mean? It just counts. Um, I just thought that was a cool story, man. To just hopefully, you know, you know, I, I got... I got my brother, and I feel like, you know, we'll always be there for each other, and that's just real cool, and just um yeah man the sibling thing can be powerful um and 15,000 dude to make a tiny home that's that's pretty good like he got to pick out the colors and just kind of the style and what he wanted so he you know because I get it man like we all just kind of want our space a little bit and and want to feel like we have our own place to live and um so to be able to give him that, um, I thought was pretty cool. Can I write on myself right here? Here's another one, dude, that I read in the news. They're coming up with a cure for people that are bald. Can you believe that shit, dude? Who asked, dude? Who cares, man? Like anyone that is bald would want their hair back, dude. What? What? <laughs> because I remember when I was first going bald, I would like Google like, "Can you get your hair back?" And they'd be like, "It was so funny." Like the the way that they the way that they phrase things too. People try to come around and shit on you. They'll be like, "No, it's impossible." You know what I mean? Like Otis trying to do a um, you know, get his book published, and you know, a lot of places he'll look. They'll be like, "No, that dream is impossible. If you don't have this and this and this and this and this, you can't do it. You're a loser." You know what I mean? And it's just like, dude, no, you have to, you have to believe in things. You have to say, no, it's not impossible. I'll, I'll figure out a way to do it. Thank you very much. I'm trying to come and shit on my dreams, dude, because, because y'all don't have the imagination and the ability to, to see that it could happen. That's not my problem. You know what I mean? Um, but it would just be funny when I would, I would Google stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm sure a lot of people would love, you know, um, if they're bald to get their hair back. Me, I'm kind of. I'm kind of straight chilling. I think I'm chilling, dude. It's a lot less maintenance and work. Uh, but I just thought that was funny. I was like, man, bald gear. Wouldn't that be funny um, to talk about and act like, who would want that? Who would, who is that even applied to? There's bald guys out there? <laughs> Weirdos. <laughs> Grow up, dude. Um, all right, we're gonna get to the, we're gonna get into my bars. We're gonna get into my bars, and then we're gonna get on out of here. We're gonna skedaddle. We're gonna hit the road. We're gonna uh, get a good uh, good night of shut eye. You know what I mean? Um. Okay. Here goes the bars. Today's song of the day. I can honestly say I got stronger today. Hit the cold water to the face and got farther today. I talked to the trees and I talked to the lake. I planted some seeds. I know you saw my good deeds. I had a good read. I hope you watching my footprints. Keep dodging the bullets. I did all my push-ups. <laughs> Even passed on a hookup. Good looking out. I know I'll get some good luck. 
only want what I should want. <laughs> so today's song of the day, I can honestly say I got stronger today. Did you? Um, today was an amazing day for me. I, I just, the whole time I kept saying, thank you, this is amazing. Things are working out. I'm so happy. Today's been amazing. Um, delivery's going well. Got time to talk to my friends and help them and research things and watch this and read that. And um, I was just smiling all day, man, um, connecting with people. I can honestly say I got stronger today. Yeah, 100%. I'm getting more and more in touch. I'm getting more in tune. I'm, I'm knowing how to just control my brain more and more and more. And um, and what I wanted to do and, and kind of get my brain working for me. Hit the cold water and got farther today, man. Yeah, it's like a journey. It's like a maze, man. It's like it's like leveling up. And we don't want, like I was telling Otis today, like life would be boring if it was too easy, you know? I get the first video I put out got got you know a hundred thousand views and the next one got a million like dude that would be boring as hell. I want to feel like I'm grinding man and I earn it and I slowly work my way up because I feel like it's also life's way of testing you and and seeing if you're gonna quit or if you're gonna stick to it or if you're doing it for the right reasons or if you really love doing it you know it's it's kind of like that type of thing to me. I talk to the trees and I talk to the lake. You guys know me. Um, I'm always talking to trees, chasing butterflies. Oh, one story I forgot to tell you real quick. Dang it. I'll tell you real quick. Guess what? I'm going to tell you real quick anyway. Um, I did one of my last deliveries of the day. I, I went over to this apartment complex and, um, I had been there before the exact house. I knew exactly where it was. I didn't even need the directions and walking up the stairs and, it was, it was weird because I had I had been to that exact spot before and there was a cat laying outside. One of the few cats that would let me come up and pet it and we were just vibing. It was kind of sunbathing. It was kind of had the warm skin and I'm rubbing it and giving it the little, the little side. The cat's kind of like that little side. They, that, that's when they run, when they come up and they kind of, they kind of, rub that against you kind of their side of their face like right next to their whiskers so i was giving it that rub you know the behind the ear one um oh right by the tail back of the tail um and we were just vibing having such a good time and i'm talking to the cat and doing the meow meow you know doing all the weird noises and um i don't think i pet its belly i don't think cats like that as much but you know, this cat was just coming up and laying down on me and getting on my shoe. I mean, we were having a time, dude. We were having a, a ball, dude, a time and a half. And um, so going back to that same spot, I was excited. I was like, man, I hope that cat's there. Hope I get to see that cat again. And as I'm walking up, I'm doing my noises and I'm meow. And I'm looking under the bushes and I'm looking here and I'm looking there. I'm looking down the street and up here. And, uh, and I didn't see the cat this time. Um... And I was sad at first, but then I was like, you know what? Be thankful that you and that cat had that moment that one time. And sometimes one time is good enough. You know, one time is better than zero times. And that's the thing with humans. Like we, you know, we get something good at one time, then we're like, okay, we want it again and again and again. We get greedy then. And I'm like, oh, well, why couldn't I have the cat the second time? You know what I mean? Be happy that you even got to play with the cat ever. That first time is way better than zero times. That was an experience that I didn't expect, didn't think I would get, and, and and was able to get and enjoy. And now I can just look back fondly on that, man. I, I don't need that second one if it's not in the cards. Blah, blah, blah. So that was a long story short to about, uh, I talked to the trees and I talked to the lake. I planted some seeds. I know you saw my good deeds. I had a good read. I hope you watch my footprints. Keep dodging the bullets. I did all my push-ups. Those are some tough rhymes. Footprints. Keep dodging the bullets. I did all my push-ups. Are you going to let me slide? Can we... With the right pronunciation, maybe, buddy. But if I'm grading you right now and I'm the teacher, dude, you're looking at maybe, maybe a C-plus there. You're looking at about a 78. and You're looking at a... Um, probably a rewrite, probably a reword. Um, 
even pass on a hookup. Yeah, your boy. Your boy's a dog out here. Um, good looking out. I know I'll get good luck. I know I'll get the good luck. Doing all that good stuff, man. Gonna bring you that good luck. And I'm Mr. Lucky Guy. I'm Mr. Sunshine, a.k.a. AKA. Um, only one in what I should want, man. And that's the truth right there, man. I don't know when I wrote that. Half of these things amaze me. That's the thing, too, guys. Start creating. Start putting yourself out there. You, you will literally shock and surprise yourself what you're actually capable of. Some of my lines I go back and read, and I was like, oh, oh my God. I was on fire. Who was that? Man, somebody called the cops right there. God dang. I was on one. Holy shit. I was a beast, man. I'm a bad man. I'm a bad boy right there, man. Um, That's too much, man. Let me not get y'all too turned up. Let me not get too wound up, man. I'm heading out. I'm checking out. I'm signing off. It's Batman Jones Jr. Um, fighting Manny Pacquiao next week. And um, I love y'all, man. Y'all stay blessed. Continue. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for being there. Um, it means so much, man. I don't. I don't even know how to. I don't know how to word it sometimes, man. So instead of trying to word it, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna triple blanket you, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna grab my heart while I'm doing it. I'm gonna think about you with my hand on my heart or something. All right. I had up my heart or my artery. I'm back in the place in the guarded three. Everyone know wanna dump me they heartedly, huh?